All right, students, let's make our interest compound or grow exponentially. That's right. Your money can grow exponentially. That sounds so much better than linear. Like, if you're like, do you want your money to grow boringly linear over time? Or do you want to ride the rocket ship of exponential growth? Yeah! I personally want to ride the rocket ship of exponential growth. Yeah. And the way we do that is with compound interest. How does it work? Well, you start with a sum of money. And then because it's making interest, that money grows. The next year, the growth is on your initial bit of money plus the growth from the first year, giving it extra power. And this continues over time to where you get an exponential growth curve. It looks amazing, and it feels even better when it's in your pocket. So let's look at the math behind this. So compound interest is exponential growth. On just the best thing, right? Money. That's why we're all here today. Talk about money. Exponential growth on money. So compound interest, and for this example, we're gonna say that we have $100 right, that we're saving, and we have found a 10% growth rate. All right, so we have got $100, and we found a way to make it grow 10% in a growth account. And so what's gonna happen? Let's, let's see what happens. So at the beginning of the year, it's worth 100 bucks. So we'll put a data point right here. So at zero time of zero, we are at $100. At the end of the year, we get 10% more, right? 10% of 100 is 10. So at the end of year one, we will be at $110. So I'm gonna put a little smooth dot there, all right? Now, at the end of the second year, here's the cool part. From years one to two, you don't have $100. From years one to two, you're growing $110 at 10%. Because you already grew it in year one, and now you get to grow it with that extra bit of money in year two. So what does that mean? Well, instead of only getting $10 of extra money in year one, you're gonna get 11, because 10% of $110 is $11. So here's where the exponential growth curve comes into effect. If we were not compounding our money, we would just be here at 120. Right, we'd be here. But we're actually, compounding our money, i.e. growing money on top of money. So this is where the curve is starting to take effect. We're growing just a little bit more. So from year one to two, we're growing $110 at 10%. From years two to three, we didn't just get 10 extra dollars, we got 11 extra dollars because 10% of $110 is $11. So now we have $121 that's gonna be growing at 10%. This is pretty awesome stuff here because every year we're gonna get more and more money to grow on top of the previous amount that we had. So. Typically, you would just see a $10 growth each year if we were not compounding, right? It would be a boring little linear function. But because we're compounding, it actually gets to grow money on top of money. That sounds, again, so incredibly amazing. So, the money gets a little bit bigger each time, and the spread increases. So you see this starts to get more curvaceous as the years progress, 
which is really, really cool. The spread between the linear function and the exponential function gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger as time progresses. This is like absolutely amazing and one of the coolest concepts in business math is that when you have money that is growing, you get to grow on top of the growth that occurred the year before and the year before and the year before. The reason why this is so important is because you gotta start somewhere. Start saving and investing your money as soon as humanly possible because you only get this spread of extra awesome exponential compound growth after a few years. You see it took four, five, six years for this spread to actually grow into a noticeable state. At the end of two years, you could barely even see the difference. I mean, we'd have to zoom in like hyper-focused right there in order for you to see the difference. But as we grew further and further and further down the line, the spread became more pronounced. So the biggest takeaway from this lesson is you want compound interest. It's amazing, but you gotta start soon, right? Start as soon as you can so that you can get this growth in the long term. Thank you very much and have a great day.